Can Lawrence get Cooper? Can Ferrandez get Lawrence? Lawrence, a 17 year old out of Australia, battling the rider out of New York. Cooper, Cooper looks over at him, wheel to wheel. Jet gonna run this high line as we hook back onto the start stretch. Will it work? Oh, it takes it way out there, but he's got the inside for the next corner. If he leaves the braking late, he does. Sort of just stands up Justin Cooper a little bit so he couldn't cut back underneath him. And the fans love it. Treated to some great racing here at Fox Raceway. Yeah, I think Ferrandez has given up. Lawrence now knows it as well as he looks back. And this team with a very storied history might be their last race. Can they go out a winner? Jet Lawrence wins the first moto. This is where Lawrence is so good. I'm wondering if he can get close enough, if he can get that Honda up the inside going into the turn off the finish line. He's going to try. Oh, Jet Lawrence has lead momentarily. They scrub together. He's going to be on the inside as well. Lawrence does it. He's got the number one spot. You know, Jet's the youngster, but this is his line. Watch this. Outside, tries to soak up this double, get the bike back onto the ground. A huge drive, but he's got to steal it from the outside for this next right-hand corner. Cooper trying to fend him off. Who's going to leave the brakes late? Lawrence gets it done. Great racing early in Moto2 in the 250 class. Cooper versus Martin versus Lawrence. Lawrence down to the inside. This time makes the pass. That was big. We actually heard Jeremy got sideways coming out of the gate, so he's got a bad start. Oh, Jet almost made the move on the outside. Cooper took him wide. Uh, we've seen the guys getting a little chippy in both classes now. Jet Lawrence won't like that. Wow. He's going to send a message right back. He wants to get Cooper bad right now. They don't like each other, and there's nothing that he would like more to make a good, aggressive pass and send a message. Send it to Will. Grant, that's a big question, right? How hard does he push right now? When we spoke to him in the week leading up to this race, I was curious to ask him, you know, where he was at as far as just maturity. He's talked about it a lot. Here it comes, As Will. Sorry to cut you off, but he just put that pass on. We knew it was coming. We knew he'd get aggressive, and he did. First time we've really seen that battle this year. Usually seems like one is a good moto, one is a bad moto. Look at Hunter. He's motivated to get back by. Down to the inside. Not quite enough to get Jet back. Well, that's the tough part about chasing and being chased. You try not to follow the rider in front of you. You go to the outside. You leave the door open, and you, instead of passing someone, you get past. That can be frustrating, but... For Hunter, he's behind his brother Jet now. Just charges down the inside. Oh, what a move. Beautiful. I have seen so many attempts, but he's the first one to make that work. That's not so good, but this group is pretty close, so Jet's got an opportunity to make some passes. Yeah, but he's got to make him fast. Look at that. Just launches. Oh! Whoa, side by side, he gets Hampshire and almost ran into Fry. This youngster, Volan, doing a fantastic job Jet. under immense pressure. That was a bad line by Hunter, and Jet Lawrence able to pass Hunter Lawrence. Jet just charging into these two corners here to look to take advantage of the mistake from Hampshire, but it was still not enough. Oh, now he's going to go to that outside. That inside's getting dry and slick, but Hampshire just rolls on the throttle, takes the line away. Jet's going to try and counter back up the inside. Beautiful move there. Got the traction, power to the ground. Jet Lawrence. Eating that roost. All right, this is where he tried last time, around the outside. He's going to carry a lot of speed. He's got it. Whoa. Turn on the turbo blasters. The Jets. Yeah. How about that? Outside line. Jeremy's going to go inside. He goes outside. He's carried great momentum. Whoa. This is the same line Lawrence used to take the lead on Cooper. Martin a little bit further ahead. Downhill we go, side by side. Lawrence on the inside, he has the lead. What a charge. Oh, track race up the hill. He's in position. Wow, he's got a good line. He's got the outside. He's going to get it done as well. For the first time today, someone has gotten past Justin Cooper for the lead. And here comes Jed Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence is going to be on the inside. He's going to have a look. Oh, he just stood the bike up a little bit. That inside, you have to really tiptoe around there. Oh, look at that. Wheel taps that. Doesn't even drop the front wheel until the backside. All great battle between our two title contenders right now. Cooper just trying to hang on a second. Lawrence senses his opportunity, squares back underneath. Yeah, just imagine if Jet could get around Justin Cooper and then go after Jeremy. That would be a big deal for the championship. Right now, he's going to lose a couple points, but not now. He's going to make it to the inside. He's been so good here all day, and it also puts him on the inside for this turn. There's Lawrence on the outside. Yeah, he's 
you can tell he's starting to get a little impatient. He's going to force it. What a scrub! Unbelievable! Almost no air time from Jet Lawrence. He kept it on the ground and he takes the spot. You know, last week, first moto at Bud's Creek, we saw Lawrence really wait until three to four laps into the moto to sort everything out and then really put on a charge. Similar uh -oh. scenario here. He is all over Cooper again. Now he's going to run the outside. They scrub together. Lawrence wheeling in to this next section and he takes the lead. Now the count begins. Just one turn away. You can hear the celebratory rev. Chet Lawrence is a 2021 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross champion. Uh, second, third, or first all year long, but it was the wins that really got uh, Chet Lawrence in there. As and we he's see trying Lawrence to get one right now. Front. Still trying the inside lines, and Cooper again able to beat him to the exit. Side by side we go. Chet Lawrence, Justin Cooper in front of the crowd here at Fox Raceway. Jet's going to be on the inside for this next right-hander. He's able to finish the deal. Cooper's going to have to send it around the outside to hold the lead. Too far outside. Jet Lawrence, your new leader. Jet Lawrence worked oh, his way up. Oh, a big challenge on Romano there. Romano able to hold him off. Jet's got to go because, yes, Moseman is the man on the move on the 29. That's the red. Charlie Designs Red Bull. Gas Gas here is the inside line from Jet Lawrence, and he's able to put the Honda to the lead. It's the, oh, a mistake by Robertson, and DeFrancesco makes the move. And... Then Robertson tries to grab some clear vision, and he might get zapped here by Jet, and he does. So a lot of passing here the last couple of laps. Lawrence is really starting to stir. He was about ninth. I believe this will put him into fifth. But how about De Francisco in the 5, 23, and 4? Yeah, you just have to wonder for Ryder. De Francisco, had he not went down in that second turn in the first moto, I Whoa. think the top 10... Yeah, that was going to be possible, I think, in Moto 1, but I had to call a pass here. Jet, he has put it back together here this last lap or so. Mid-corner speed is, is phenomenal. It's really fast. Uh, can he make this inside work? We have lappers yep. coming up in front of us. Going to try the inside again in this right-hander. Just nothing you can make happen there. Oh, man, there are lappers everywhere. As you mentioned, Jet Going down to, to the inside, going to stand him up. Pulled the same move he pulled on Hunter. A Shugel, big power move around the outside. Get Jet, get the job done. No. Shimoda shuts him off again. Up horsepower hill. Fantastic racing. I thought he was going to make a run around, yep. get the, get him around the outside, but Joe was able to hold him off. But Jet's got the inside here. Ooh, this could be it right here. Jet's on the inside. Nothing Joe can do about it. Jet Lawrence makes the pass. And with that, he's going to shoot from fourth overall to first. How long can Hatmaker hold on? It looked like Jed had the pass made over that jump. Hatmaker fights him off. We're going to go back uphill. Oh, Jed, another mistake. Still gets the power down to the ground on that Honda. And it looks like he's about to take over second. He's got it. It's Jed back to the inside. Oh, oh we got him. Corner oh, by pushed Jet. him out. Yeah, and Hem. Oh, he's going to get a two for one. He got Hampshire. Now over the sky shot. Can he complete the pass on Hatmaker? Hatmaker's on the inside, but... Jet, smooth through those outside ruts. He made two passes in two corners. Yeah. Another charge on. He's done the same here. Yeah, RJ had just a slight little peek under his shoulder as he could see that red oh. bike. Hear that red bike. You can feel that presence. And right there, here comes Jet. So Jet's got the speed there, getting the drive up here towards Godzilla. Already putting three or four bike links on RJ. So, uh, again, R I think Jet's coming. Jet Lawrence in a situation where he could win because he's looking to make the pass on Thrasher. That's where he got Hampshire and he takes the lead from Thrasher. Overall standpoint, Hunter's good. There it is. Oh, oh that was came together. Oh. Jet's got the lead now. Hunter tries to come back. Well, that was too close for comfort. That would have been a high speed collision. Jet, congratulations on a great season. On behalf of the AMA and MX Sports Pro Racing, it gives me great pleasure to present you with the 2022 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship 250 number one plate.